Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on the e.l.f. Shine Bright 24 day advent calendar. If you do wanna see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. This advent calendar retails for $95 on ELF's website. I do want to read a little bit about this advent calendar. Let's celebrate 24 days of ELF amazing makeup and skincare. This limited edition holiday advent calendar invites you to count down to the holidays and indulge yourself in ELF's OG's bestsellers and latest viral finds. Every door reveals a new skincare essential, pro-worthy tool or festive makeup tool for pampering your skin and decking out your look. It's the gift that keeps on giving all season long. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says ELF Shine Bright 24 Day Advent Calendar. Up at the top, there's nothing printed. On the side of the packaging, there's nothing there. Same thing on this side, there's nothing. On the back, you have this little sleeve. It comes right on out. You have a description of each product included. There are some directions, and then underneath that, you have the list of ingredients. Here's what the inside of the advent calendar looks like. Day number one is up at the top. This is called the Holy Hydration Face Cream. It states it was made in China. You get 0.51 ounces or 15 grams of product, and this has a six month shelf life. Comes with a safety seal. Here's what the actual cream looks like. It's nice and thick. I've used this face cream in the past. It absorbs very quickly and it keeps my skin nice and hydrated. Day number two is down at the bottom. Here we have a full size instant lip brow pencil. This is in the shade neutral brown. On the back it states bulk was made in Taiwan and it was assembled in China. You get 0.066 ounces or 0.18 grams of product. Here's what the spoolie looks like. Let's see how much product we get inside. Here's how much product comes inside of the brow pencil. I'll definitely be trying everything that comes inside of the advent calendar towards the end, so definitely stay tuned. Day number three is up at the top. Here we have a full size lipstick. This is their Seriously Satin. This is in the shade Cherry. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. I love the Seriously Satin formula. It feels nice and moisturizing on the lips. Day number four is down at the bottom. Here we have a deluxe size Power Grip Primer. I've never tried this primer before. On the back you have some direction. Underneath that it states it has a three month shelf life. Again, it was made in China. You get 0.671 fluid ounces or 20 milliliters of product. It doesn't feel very sticky, which I like. Day number five is on this side. I'm gonna remove this. That way we can see the numbers clearly. Again, day number five is down here. Here we have a full size of the Poreless Putty Primer. This is in the shade Universal Sheer. Again, it was made in China. You get 0.74 ounces or 21 grams of product, and this has a six month shelf life. Here's what the inside of the primer looks like. Again, I love this primer. It fills in my pores. I love how it makes the back of my hand velvety smooth. Let's see what's behind day number six. Here we have a full-size lip lacquer. This shade is called Love Bite and it was made in China. On the back it states it has a six month shelf life. You get 0.08 fluid ounces or 2.5 milliliters of product. The applicator is double-sided. Here's what the shade in Love Bite looks like. It's a coppery bronze. It's beautiful. Day number seven is on this side. Here we have a full-size fluffy eye blender. The bristles feel nice and soft. Day number eight is over here.
Here we have a full-size putty blush. This is in the shade Turks and Caicos. Again, this was made in China. You get 0.35 ounces or 10 grams of product, and this has a six-month shelf life. This shade is so pretty. I love the cream to powder formula. Day number nine is on this side. Here we have a full size stay all night micro fine setting mist. It states it's up to 16 hours of wear. You get 2.705 fluid ounces or 80 milliliters of product. On the back you have the directions. Underneath that you have the list of ingredients. Again, it states it was made in China and it has a 12 month shelf life. Here's what the nozzle looks like. Let's get this, oh, it's got a ball in it. Interesting. Let's give this a good little shake. Let's see how it sprays. Oh wow, okay. The mist is nice and fine. It does have a slight fragrance. It smells like cucumbers. Day number 10 is up at the top. Here we have an enhancing lash and brow serum. Again, this was made in China. You get 0.05 fluid ounces or 1.5 milliliters of product, and this has a three month shelf life. On the bottom, it states it was made in China, and this is in the shade clear. Here's what the wand looks like. Can't even see it on the back of my hand. I have no idea why I swatched it. Day number 11 is up at the top. Here we have a lip exfoliator. This shade is called Ice Bloom. On the back, it states it was made in China. You get 0.11 ounces or 3.3 grams of product, and this has a six month shelf life. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. Here's what the lip exfoliator looks like. I expected more of a bluer tint like it is in the tube. Day number 12 is on this side. Here we have a Hydrating Core Lip Shine. This shade is called Joyful. There's nothing printed on the other side. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. It has a little heart in the center. Joyful is described as a pink rose. That shade is so pretty. Day number 13 is on this side. Here we have an eyelash curler. I don't use eyelash curlers, but I guess it's nice to have. Day number 14 is on this side. Here we have a liquid glitter eyeshadow. This shade is called Disco Queen. You get 0.1 fluid ounces or three milliliters of product. This has a six month shelf life. And again, this was made in China. The applicator is double-sided. Here's what the shade in Disco Queen looks like. That shade is so pretty. Day number 15 is up at the top. Here we have a full-size brow lift. This is in the shade Clear. Again, this was made in China. You get 0.31 ounces or 8.8 .8 grams of product, and this has a six-month shelf life. Here's what the inside looks like. I'll definitely be applying this to my eyebrows later on. Day number 16 is on this side. Here we have some face gems. Here's what the sticker sheet looks like. I don't think I'll ever be using this. Day number 17 is down at the bottom. Here we have another lip lacquer. This is in the shade Bubbles. Again, this was made in China. On the back, it states you get 0.08 fluid ounces or 2.5 milliliters, and this has a six month shelf life. Here's what the double-sided applicator looks like. Here's what the shade in Bubbles looks like. It's a clear gloss with a hint of shimmer. Day number 18 is down at the bottom. Here we have the Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. On the back, it states it has a three month shelf life. Again, it was made in China. You get 0.45 ounces or 13 grams of product. Here's what the inside looks like. 
Day number 19 is up at the top. We have their makeup sponge. I'm not a huge fan of their sponges. It absorbs a lot of product. I don't like how it feels on my face after I dampen it. Day number 20 is down at the bottom. We have another Hydrating Core Lip Shine. This is in the shade Happy. Again, there's nothing printed on the back. Happy is described as a dusty rose. Again, that's so pretty. Day number 21 is over here. Here we have a No Budge Retractable Eyeliner. You get 0.006 ounces or 0.18 grams of product, and this has a three month shelf life. This shade is called Black and it's waterproof. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. Here's what it looks like. Wow, that is very pigmented. Day number 22 is over here. Here we have a bite-sized eyeshadow palette. This is in the shade Truffles. Underneath that, you have the list of ingredients. Again, this was made in China, and this has a 12-month shelf life. I already have this palette in my collection, and I did a review on these bite-sized palettes. If you have not seen my review, I'll leave it right over here in the cards if you're interested. Day number 23 is on this side. Here we have the Ride or Die Lip Balm. This is in the shade Diamond Dust. You get 0.42 ounces or 12 grams of product, and this has a 12 month shelf life. I haven't used this in a while, so hopefully they haven't changed the formula. This lip balm has some shimmer in it. The formula feels the same. Let's see what's behind day number 24. Here we have a full-size eyeshadow palette. This palette is called the Hot Chocolate Eyes Palette. Again, this was made in China. You get 0.7 ounces or 20 grams of product, and this has a 12-month shelf life. Here's what the shades look like inside of the palette. I've unboxed everything in this advent calendar. Now I'm gonna remove my makeup with the Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm, and then we'll apply everything on. I wish this came with a spatula, but I'll just use my fingertips. Let's see how easily this removes the makeup. Okay, it's coming off nicely. Let's see how it removes mascara. I think it did a pretty good job. Taking a little bit more on this side. Here's how the cleansing balm performed. I think it did a pretty good job. I'm gonna rinse my face and I'll be right back. Here's what my skin looks like after I rinsed it. The cleansing balm did a great job of removing my makeup, and it didn't sting my eyes. Now that my face is nice and clean, let's apply the moisturizer. Again, this is called the Holy Hydration Face Cream. I have a little bit on my fingertip. Again, I've used this face cream in the past. I like how it absorbs quickly. My skin feels nice and hydrated. I'm gonna let the moisturizer sink in while I fill in my eyebrows. I like this spoolie, it feels nice and soft. Here's what my eyebrow looks like filled in versus the other side where I didn't fill it in yet. I like the brow product so far. To fill in my pores, I'm gonna be applying the Poreless Putty Primer. And then all over, I'm gonna be applying the Power Grip Primer. The primer doesn't feel too tacky, which I like. For foundation, I'm gonna be applying the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This is in the shade Honey. I haven't used this foundation in a while. It might be expired, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna give it a good little shake. Apply it all over. I just finished dampening the makeup sponge. It did get a little bit bigger. Again, I don't like this makeup sponge. It's too firm, even when it's wet. This shade in Honey is a little bit too light for me, but we'll make it work. For concealer, I'm gonna be applying the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer Plus Eraser. This is in the shade WN114 Golden. I'm not sure if this shade would match, but let's find out. The concealer is a little bit dark, but that's fine. Let's blend this in. 
I'm gonna apply a second layer. I'll let it sit for a little bit. While it's sitting, I'm gonna set my eyebrows with the brow lift. I'll use the same spoolie. I like that my eyebrows don't feel stiff. Going back in using my beauty sponge, I'm gonna blend in the concealer. For blush, I'm gonna apply the putty blush in the shade Turks and Caicos. I'm using a dual fiber brush. This shade is a little bit too light for my liking. I wish this formula had a bit more pigmentation. I'll apply some to the other cheek. I'm gonna set my face with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. I wish this advent calendar included a mascara instead of the lash serum, but they did end up sending me this free gift. So this is the Big Mood Mascara. I've never tried this from e.l.f., so let's see if the mascara is any good. Here's what the mascara tube looks like. I love the packaging. Here's what the wand looks like. It's nice and fluffy. I love mascara wands like this. I apply two coats of the mascara. Here's what it looks like. I like the wand, I just don't like the formula. On the other side, I'm gonna apply one coat of my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. You can see the difference. Here's my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'll just apply one coat. Here's what the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara looks like compared to the L. It looks so much better. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I forgot to use the eyelash curler. I don't normally use eyelash curler. I think I'm gonna give this away. Hey guys, I redid my foundation off camera. The flawless finish foundation was itching my face, so I had to remove everything. I think the foundation is expired. It's separating inside of the bottle. Even after I shake it, it's still separating, so that's not a good sign. Definitely make sure to check your foundations every once in a while. This particular foundation has a six month shelf life. I went ahead and I applied my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in the shade Toffee Pecan. This is their matte version. And then I applied the Putty Blush in the shade Turks and Caicos. Here's what we're looking like. Now let's apply the lip products. I'm first gonna be testing out the lip exfoliator. Again, this is in the shade Ice Bloom. I love that this comes in a lipstick tube, that way you're not digging your fingers in a pot. I do like how it feels on my lips. Let's remove this. My lips feel nice and soft. The first lip gloss I'm gonna be applying is in the shade Bubbles. Here's what the lip gloss shade in Bubbles looks like. It's a clear gloss with a hint of shimmer. It's pretty. I totally forgot to try out the Ride or Die Lip Balm. This is in the shade Diamond Dust. I have a little bit on my fingertip. Here's what the Ride or Die Lip Balm in the shade Diamond Dust looks like. I love this formula. It feels nice and comfortable on my lips. I prefer this over the previous lip gloss and it has a hint of shimmer. The last lip gloss shade is in the shade Love Bite. Here's what the lip gloss shade in Love Bite looks like. Another pretty lip gloss. Again, this has a hint of shimmer. The next lip product is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine. This is in the shade Joyful. Here's what the Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Joyful looks like. I don't like the scent. It smells like plastic. The other Hydrating Core Lip Shine is in the shade Happy. Here's what the shade in Happy looks like. Again, it has that plastic scent, which is starting to give me a headache. The last lip product is the Seriously Satin Lipstick. This is in the shade Cherry. Here's what the Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Cherry looks like. I wish the formula was a bit more pigmented. You can see my natural lip peeking through. Now let's swatch the Hot Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette. Again, here's a closer look on what the eyeshadow palette looks like. There are 15 shades in total. There's no shade names and I wasn't able to find any shade descriptions online. I'm just gonna swatch it on the back of my hand and then I'll blend it out. Let's see what the first shade looks like. Ooh, this is so soft in the pan. That blended out so nice. The second shade is this beautiful golden shimmer. That shade is so pretty. The third shadow is this green shimmer. Again, super soft in the pan. Oh wow, that's very pigmented. I love how that blended out. The second to last shade is a matte shadow.
again, very pigmented. I'm loving how these are blending out. Let's see what the last shade in the top row looks like. Here we have a peachy shadow. Again, that blended out beautifully. The first shade in the second row is another beautiful shimmer. Again, that's so pretty. Let's see what the matte shadow swatch is like. This shade looks a bit chalky on the back of my hand. You can barely see this shadow swatched on the back of my hand. That orange is pretty. The last shade in the second row is a beautiful shimmer. That's so pretty. Here's what the first two rows look like swatched on the back of my hand. I like the quality so far. Let's see what the first shade in the last row looks like. Again, we have a beautiful shimmer. That's stunning. We have another shimmer. Here's what the second shimmer looks like. Again, that's so pretty. I love the sparkles in this shimmer. Next up, we have this matte shadow. Here's what the chocolate brown shadow looks like. Wow, that's very pigmented. The second to last shade is another shimmer. Again, very pigmented. The last shade is this beautiful icy white. This shade is stunning as well. Here's what the last five shadows look like swatched on the back of my hand. Now we're gonna create a look using this palette. Using the fluffy crease brush that came in the advent calendar, I'm gonna dip into this shadow. I'm getting a little bit of kick up in the pan. Applying that in my crease, going back and forth, doing windshield wiper motions. That shade blended out so easily. A little bit of product goes a long way. I didn't have to dip back into the palette. Swapping my brush for a flat brush, I'm gonna dip into this beautiful shimmer. Pack this in the center of my lid. That shade is beautiful. Doing the same thing on this side. Going back in using that first brush, I'm gonna dip into the dark chocolate brown shadow. Apply this in my outer corner doing circular motions for a little bit of dimension. I like how we're looking so far. Swapping my brush for a pointed pencil brush, I'm gonna dip into this beautiful icy white shadow. Apply this in my inner corner. That shade is gorgeous. I'm gonna leave the eyeshadow look as is. Here's how it turned out. I'm gonna set everything with the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. I'm gonna give this a good little shake. For mascara, I'm gonna apply the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I totally forgot to apply the liquid eyeshadow in Disco Queen. Let's apply a little bit to my inner corner. Oh wow, that's so pretty. I'll apply one more dot on this side. For lips, I'm gonna apply the lip gloss shade in Love Bite. Here we have the completed look. I love the quality of this eyeshadow palette. It's very pigmented. A little bit of product goes a long way. It blends out very easily. There's no patchiness. I will continue to use this palette and I will leave below in the description box my final thoughts. For $95, I think this advent calendar is worth it. I don't think e.l.f. should have included two eyeshadow palettes, a bite size and a bigger palette. I think this advent calendar would have been great with just one big palette. I didn't like the gems included. This made the advent calendar a little bit cheap in my opinion. I think they should have included maybe a full size powder blush 
or maybe their new putty bronzers. I wish these two products were full size, the makeup cleansing balm and the face cream. I think that's a little bit of a cop out for e.l.f. to have included deluxe size products. I'm paying $95. Every product should have been full size in my opinion. I like the Power Grip Primer. I will continue to use this. The seven lip products that were included in this advent calendar are a bit repetitive. I don't think this advent calendar should have included two of the same formulas. I don't need two of the hydrating core lipsticks in two different shades. Same thing with the lip lacquers, these lip glosses. I didn't need two of them. e.l.f. has amazing lip products. I wish they would have given us more variety. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on picking up this advent calendar for yourself or for a loved one. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.